Studio 801, I'm your host Harry and this is Music Matters. Today we have with us uh, Sonic Wonder. Um, I'm Rob Summerlin, I play uh, synthesizers and backing vocals. Synthesizers, it's funny. I'm Russ Taylor, I'm a drummer, so I'm the dumb one in the group. I concur. I'm Sam Salazar, I play guitars. And Diego Arroyo, I play the bass. Awesome. So tell me, um, Sonic Wonder, where did the name come from? Um, it was not the first idea, and it was not the last. It was one that stuck. So Russ and I have been in um, four bands together, and uh, this is the fourth one we put together. And when we did, it was coming up with some ideas, and he always has the same idea. He always, wow. he always wants to call the band Morning Wood. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, I was going through some ideas, and, and I landed on Sonic Wonder for a little bit, and then I deviated and went somewhere else for a while, and then I kept coming back to Sonic Wonder, and I like the idea of um, not being placed in a box or mm -hmm. in a genre or a category. Mm -hmm. I mean, I sort of lie because the whole thing is that we wanted to play prog, progressive rock, right? And um, but we didn't want to. If we wanted to do a punk song, we could. If we wanted to do a metal song, we could. So that's where the son the sonic comes in from audio. And gotcha. The wonder is. Well, I wonder what we can get away with. W U. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, with you in the German spelling because I wanted to look international. Oh yeah, with the umlauts. Yeah. yeah. And then and then we lucked out because we got a Brazilian bassist. <laughs> so now we are international. You, now you're international. Yeah. There's the shirt right there. Right yeah. On, yeah. Yeah. You guys have been playing together for how long? Hmm. How do you can tell. Yeah. Uh, two. Uh, the band has officially been around since December 2019. But that landed right before COVID. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like dog years. It's kind of like COVID years are different from regular years. <laughs> it took us, um, what, a year to find Diego? Yeah. We found you in January, January of 21. Yes. And then we found you in August of 21. So yeah. it took us like a year and a half just to, yeah, that's, and that's the weirdness about COVID and how it slowed everything down. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's, it feels like I've, I've only known these guys for like a year. Sam and I have been in a <laughs> we're, band we're still together. Not even, we're still in the honeymoon phase. Yeah, right? honestly, yeah. that's... We've been in a band together for, gosh, I don't know how many years. 13, he always knows all the stories. 13 and 14 years. I will mess them up every time. Yeah. And he knows that. So whenever yeah. he gets to tell a story about us. So tell, tell me about your uh, tell me about your music a little bit. What could, you said progressive rock. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when uh, when Russ and I had broken up uh, our whatever band, and uh, a couple years later, like we always do, <laughs> we gravitate back to each other. And he's like, "Hey man, let's put a let's put a band together and uh, let's write originals like we used to." I was like, "Oh, that'd be fun." Screw all this cover band shit. <laughs> and I said, uh, "Well, I'm I'm really into Foo Fighters, and Foo I'm really Foo Fighters, Foo Fighters, and I'm really into uh, Pink Floyd right now." Which is a lie. Pink Floyd's my favorite band. Me too. And uh, and he said, "Oh, dude, yeah, let's let's try to write like Pink Floyd." Uh, so we went down the road of prog rock, which was which was very uh, liberating in all my writing. And, and I, looking back at my life, um, at all the different bands I've been in and all the different bands that I've written for, uh, I was trying to fit a genre mm -hmm. until I got to prog. When I got to prog, I was like, "Let's just sound like whatever we want to sound like." Mm -hmm. And it kind of fits in in its own way, as, yeah. long as, as long as you're not too commercial sounding, I guess. So I'd been in pop, buck, uh, pop punk bands, and I'd been in alternative bands, and I'd been in um, uh, metal bands, and I was always kind of trying to chase another sound. So when we got here, we started listening to, we went back to Rush and Floyd and like early, Zeppelin, early Zeppelin. Genesis. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, the old, the, the earlier Ze uh, Zeppelin stuff, the experimental Beatles stuff. Then we started crossing over it into gorillas and um, uh, yeah. uh, there's two versions of Radiohead. There's the more radio friendly version, like the first three albums, and then the really crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. And everyone kind of picks and chooses with like the recording in the basement, whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 all right. Worst performance experience. 
how that play scene in Fort Worth. Getting cut off. As, 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 as a band, it might oh, yeah. be that time we got cut off. Yeah, what your wife was talking about that she'd heard. That sucked yeah. that he cut us off because we had more people at that place. I think it filled up over half the place. It was, we had it was a big crowd, yeah. a decent crowd. We drove a done. long way for it. Yeah. And the thing about it, and everything was, I mean, I had kind of starry eyes about the place. I thought, wow, this is the best place we played at. Mm -hmm. And then that happened. And I noticed Sam was the first one to react. He, know, he knew what was going on immediately. As soon as his mic went dead, he. So they, they so put his guitar so, in his case and started walking. So they put you on they they put you on stage. You start your set, um, and you've got um, whatever however much time thirty minutes or whatever it is, and you're in the middle of your set, and they pull they pull it's, the power. At from, some uh, point, everything goes dead. Second to last song, I believe, right? Well, I think we before they they we expected a certain amount of time. And then when we got there, they said, you only have this amount of time. And we had a band meeting. We said, okay, let's pull this song, and we should be okay. And then, so we're already playing a shorter set than we wanted. And then that technical problem happened, and they cut us off before we played our last song. But I think we'd only played three songs. Yeah, but it, the particularly embarrassing cut of this is that out of, out of the whole band, I'm the one with, I've got the, the big rolling cab behind me mm -hmm. to use as a monitor that my stuff's going through, mm -hmm. and then I've got an out going to the board, and I do all my mixing, <clears throat> just one out going to the board. So I can hear myself even when I can't hear them. So I'm just sitting there, and I'm just going along. I'm playing, keep on playing, and I start seeing my band <laughs> We're all trail the off the stage. So where can people find you? And you know, what what do you have new songs or? Uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, whatever Twitter is now. You know, social media. Um, we have a domain, and we had a website, but we never did anything with it. It just kind of went away. Um, you know, and we have an album coming out in the spring that okay. we've been working on. Okay. So we're looking forward to that. All looking right. Looking forward to that. Awesome. So thanks for uh, joining us today, Sonic Wonder. Um, check them out, Facebook, Instagram. Um, come watch them at Rock and Winter Music Festival, uh, February 18th at the Revel in Frisco. You won't be disappointed. No, not at all. <laughs> thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank right. you.